To close the subject very well, there's a very uh, important set of lines from Ibn al-Qayyim that he used to defend the followers of the narrations of the Messenger وسلم, the followers of the Sunnah, in the face of the, the, the people of innovation or the people who have called to blind following of the shuyukh, whether they be the four imams or the elders of a certain time or place. Many times you'll find the people are attached to what they know and what their fathers have practiced. And you cannot call them back to the haq except with great efforts and a lot of work and years and years of patience. These uh, times were reached by our great imams, one of them being Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, who addressed this issue when he and his Shaykh Ibn Taymiyyah and those like him from Ahl Hadith had, and that reminds me just to mention that the uh, Ibn Taymiyyah mentioned in his Majmu' al Fatawa that the madhab of the Salaf is nothing but the truth. So there's no ayb as the ulama have made ijma', there is no ayb on the one who ascribes himself to the madhab of the Salaf. That's in Majmu' al Fatawa by Ibn Taymiyyah. Um, going back to what I'm saying now, Ibn al-Qayyim mentioned some lines of poetry to refute, to refute the people who say, you've contradicted our shuyukh, our great scholars of this day and time by your statements. When they came and they said, the book of Allah necessitates us to take a position other than the position that your elders are upon and that you know from your forefathers and that which is established. Listen to the beautiful words of Ibn al-Qayyim. قَالُوا لَهُ خَالَفْتَ أَقْوَالَ الشُّيُوخِ وَلَمْ يُبَالُوا الْخُلْفَ لِلْفُرْقَانِ They said to him, this is beautiful. You have opposed the statements of our shuyukh, and they have given no concern to the opposition of al-Furqani to one of the names of the Qur'an. Right? The whole concern is, you're opposing our shuyukh, you're opposing our shuyukh. خَالَفْتُ أَقْوَالَ الشُّيُوخِ فَأَنْتُمُ خَالَفْتُمُ مَنْ جَاءَ بِالْقُرْآنِ Right? I have opposed the statements of shuyukh, but you have opposed the one who came with the Qur'an. خَالَفْتُمُ قَوْلَ الرَّسُولِ وَإِنَّمَا خَالَفْتُ مَنْ جَرَّاهُ قَوْلُ فُلَانِ Right? I have, or you have opposed the statement of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but rather I have opposed people who are influenced and impressed by the statement of fulan. Some people. The, pe- the person I'm following is a messenger. The, you're following someone who's impressed by fulan's statement. يَا حَبَّ ذَاكَ الْخِلَافُ فَإِنَّهُ Oh, what a beautiful khilaf there is between me and you. What a beautiful issue of differing there is between me and you. فَإِنَّهُ عَيْنُ الْوِفَاقِ لِطَاعَةِ الرَّحْمَانِ That it is, in fact, the actual, the sign that I have been granted success to obeying Ar-Rahmani. أَوَمَا عَلِمْتَ بِأَنَّ أَعْدَاءِ الرَّسُولِ عَلَيْهِ عَابُ الْخُلْفَ بِالْبُحْتَانِ Don't you know that the people, the enemies of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, blamed him for opposition, and they did that with buhtan, with slander. They blamed him for opposing the statements of the shuyukh of their time, and they did that by slandering him. لِشُيُوخِهِمْ وَلِمَا عَلَيْهِ قَدْ مَضَى أَسْلَافُهُمْ فِي سَالِفِ الْأَزْمَانِ Opposing their shuyukh, and what they had been upon, and what they had gone on, their, their salaf, the ones who came before them, uh, in the previous times. مَا الْعَيْبُ إِلَّا فِي خِلَافِ النَّصِّ لَا رَأْيِ الرِّجَالِ وَفِكْرَةِ الْأَذْهَانِ There is no blame for anyone except when they oppose the text, except when they oppose the nas, not when they oppose the, the opinions of a person or thoughts that come to a man's mind. أَنْتُمْ, أنتم تَعِيبُنَا بِهَذَا وَهُوَ مِنْ تَوْفِيقِنَا وَالْفَضْلُ لِلْمَنَّانِ And you are, you are blaming us for that. That we oppose the, what have, thoughts that have come to people's minds. You oppose us, or, and you blame us for that. And it is our tawfiq. It is that Allah has granted us success, and the virtue is for al-mannan, the one who gives his, from his virtue. فَلْيَهْنِكُمْ خُلْفُ النُّسُوسِ وَيَهْنِنَا خُلْفُ الشُّيُوخِ أَيَسْتَوِ الْخُلْفَانِ Then, let you be congratulated by your opposition to the Messenger of Allah, and, or by the texts, and let us congratulate ourselves on the opposition to the shuyukh. Are the two kinds of opposition equal? Wallahi ma taswi'un qulu jami'i ahlil ardi nassan sahada tibyani. Wallahi, the, all of the intellects on earth, if they gather together to have an opinion, would not equal one text that has come with clear proof in it. 
حتى نقدمها عليه معرضين مؤولين محرف القرآن so that we would put that statement and so much so that we would put that statement and uh, forth in front of the text uh, and turn away from the text or twist it or bend its meaning the words of the Quran والله إن النص فيما بيننا لأجل من أراء كل فلان by Allah the text that exists between us and you is more uh, jaleel it's more honorable and more notable than the opinions of every fulan beautiful words by Ibn Qayyim we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to understand them and to implement them and we ask Allah to raise uh, and exalt the status of his last and final prophet and those and that of his companions and, and followers until the last day and to grant them an abundance of peace Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik